Greetings, dear friends, in the strong name of Jesus, welcome to another point of view. This is where we get to think a little deeper on the theme of this week's homily. In this last week, we focused on the Alpha and Omega as creator in the story of God, our sacred roots chart. We looked at God's eternal purpose, uh, thinking about Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. And the, and the thesis of the uh, teaching was, our triune God is determined from eternity past to bless his people in his son. Now, this, today's meditation, we should think about Paul calling God Almighty the Father. The Father is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And just traditionally, people have thought of this typically as an older, older person with Jesus as the younger, uh, this icon sort of giving a sense of that. This is not the way we probably ought to look at the Father uh, and the Son in, in this sort of uh, way. This is not as clear uh, when we think about our Lord speaking to his Father, who is spirit. O righteous Father, he says in John 17, 25, even though the world does not know you, I know you, and these know that you have sent me. I've made known to them your name, and I will continue to make it known that the love with which you have loved me may be in them and I in them. Dear friends, the eternal spirit, the creator of all things, is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus. And now by faith, he is our Father too. 